Hi guys, we're back back to the internet. So, it's been a while since we've done Let's Confess. It's been a while. In fact, I think it's been something like five to six months. Yeah, it's been a long time. A long time mm -hmm. coming. I'm really excited about this because I feel like throughout lockdown all over the world, there isn't a better time to be naughty. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually, there's a theme and oh, it's really? a lockdown theme. Oh, yes. that so comes as a shock. Have you been getting up to some naughty behaviour? I'm during... pregnant, aren't I? Okay, I think it's only fair, as it's been so long mm -hmm. since I last Let's Confess, yep. that I kick this off. With your own confession? With my own confession. Oh, I have a conf Well, it wasn't... It doesn't Go make me, It doesn't make me look bad. Oh, well, I just want to say that there's some anonymous fan has been messaging us constantly, and they have a poo fetish, and they're trying to get me to tell them that I've pooped myself. And like, <laughs> I mean, I've got to give it to them because they've tried myriad of platforms. <laughs> Our cameos are off at the moment because we've just been so busy, I'm so pregnant, right? Someone sent me a message on Cameo like, oh, have you ever like messaged your pan? <laughs> and I was like, oh, Sorry. I was like, oh, yeah. And like, <laughs> I answered because, they paid for that cameo message, so <laughs> gosh darn it, I'm gonna tell the, tell the truth. So I was like, yeah, loads. I think they said if you and Rose have a pee job pants, and yeah. I was like, yeah, like Lol, of course. And I was like, one time someone crashed a car because you were peeing in the street, and they were watching you, and then they they crashed their car. But anyway, um, I was like, yeah, like it happens, you know. And then they wrote back again, like, haha, <laughs> yeah, but like, have you ever really messed your pants? I didn't think about. Poo. So I was so really what, what more details so I, do they want? So I didn't message back because I was like, what can I give? I didn't think about, you know, other ways of messaging. What can I give photos, right. I guess? But also on my other inbox and Instagram. Someone's and someone's really like, to know. have you ever pooped your pants? Yeah, I'm like, yes. and I was like, Rose, I, I was like, I think this is sexual now. <laughs> I think I think I don't think they're just asking out of curiosity. I think I think there's a, a hidden agenda here. I feel like you're right. Also, yeah. it actually brings me to my confession. Oh, right. Because I am the person who's asked you. Oh, <laughs> it's a category that's out there that some people are interested in. Not me. But I suppose they're asking the right person. <laughs> I have a lesbian confession to do with COVID and it's pretty bad, lol. We were in her treehouse and we got really horny. So we started having sex and we were both quite messy. So afterwards, there's kind of a lot to clean up. But it was dark by this time and there wasn't anything in the treehouse we could use to clean up. So I just reached into my pocket and pulled up some random fabric and we used that. So I got home, exhausted, fell asleep, completely forgetting about it, and I woke up a bit late the next day for exams and had to run out the door. As I was approaching the building, I thought I should probably get my mask ready for entering, which is when I reached into my pocket and realized that I had used it to clean up the night before. But because I was so late, I didn't have time to go and ask any staff or friends for a spare. There was no choice but to put it on my face for the whole day and wear it while going in and out of exams. One out of 10 would recommend. Crazy. Yeah, like solidified, like sometimes, Sex has a scent, but that's all part of it, you know? That's just part of the experience. But it's when scents are left to- Marinate. Yes. I want to know how that person did their exam. <laughs> yeah, I know, because I had a really disgusting smelling face mask one time, and it was when it I had- smelled like sickness. cheese. Yes, and it was when it didn't smell like toe cheese. And I don't know why, and it was when I had morning sickness, and I put it on, and then I was in the supermarket, and I was trapped, and I was like- Ugh. I rubbed my Veruca with it. I like how they were like, we're both Brave. quite messy people. I was like, oh, I, I was thinking, oh, did you need to hoover? Hi Rosie, I know this is Les Confess, but I have a story I think you and Rose would enjoy. Now this is absolutely fine, it doesn't just have to be lesbian, obviously I'm bisexual, because this person's transgender, so okay. they're like, oh, I'm not necessarily a lesbian, but okay. that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm a transgender female to male. I identified as gay before I worked out my gender identity, which is how I found your channel. Firstly, I'd like to say that prosthetics that female to male people use for sex are extremely expensive, in brackets between 200 and 800 pounds. <gasps> and this was a good few years ago before I was able to afford one. So while with an ex doing the do, I was using a cheap prosthetic dick, no more than 20 pounds, which we had been using for a while. It worked really well at first, but this one time my ex was really into it and she wanted me to be more rough. I could feel the prosthetic ripping and told her this, but she was too close to let me stop. Long story short, my dick ripped in half inside her and got stuck and she had to push it out. I will never use a cheap prosthetic dick again. <laughs> I think we've all learned the lesson here. <laughs> I actually think that's a real humble brag. They were doing it so yes. hard their dick ripped off. I mean, that's you, be... you broke someone's dick once. I did break someone's dick, but it didn't Well work. done, Rosie. Well done. Thank you, thank you. So here's my Les confession. It's actually more of a coming out story from 2018. So at that time, I had identified myself as a lesbian for three years and I had a girlfriend for over a year. I still hadn't told my parents because I was afraid of their reaction. Well, one day we were watching a romance movie with my parents. I hate them, they're so cheesy, but whatever. I fell asleep watching the movie and I've been known to sleep talk. Apparently, I was asleep so I didn't notice. 
My parents were watching the movie and when I started moaning out of nowhere and I started naming my girlfriend, let's call her Alice. My parents woke me up and we talked about what I'd said and how they were always going to be supportive of me and blah, blah, blah. My parents met Alice and they loved her more than my past boyfriends. Anyway, fast forward to today and we're having twins. We've decided to name them Rose and Rosie. No, you, no, that's, that's what they said. not true. So I, did, I didn't know if it was true, but that's what they Why said. Why no way? I was with you all the way up until the end. I do not believe you. If you have two girls and you call them Rose and Rosie. I'll but take it though, I'll take it, I'll it's true. It. It's true. But oh, moaning in front of your in front of your parents. <gasps> now, I, I, I used to, I, I sleep talk, and um, every time I used to sleep over at my friend's house, I'd always have sex dreams. And every morning, I'd Who was your friend? Anyone. Oh, like, anyone. And literally, like, every morning I'd be like, oh, did I do anything weird in my sleep? And they'd be like, no, why? And I'd be like, oh, no reason. But have like, you ever had an orgasm in your sleep? 100%. I have. I've had about four. I had one the other day. Of course you did. You, who did you cheat on me in my dream always with? Always Fletcher. Always. Was, you slept with my brother in my dream. Oh, and him. What? So what did you think of the Rose and Rosie thing? A lie. I think it's a lie, because would you name both your kids Rose and Rosie? I'm gonna do it. So loads of these are about sex toys, which is unsurprising because <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> but also that is this this whole series right, is right. always sex toys. But lockdown, so you can't you know, right. you can't be with right. anyone. Sex toy is your best friend. Yeah. I mean, we did a spawn for sex toys exactly. in lockdown. That's what I thought. And I thought, what an excellent spawn we chose. Even though someone tried to shame me for sponsoring sex toys whilst being pregnant. It's like, how do you think most people get pregnant? And do you think pregnant women can't have sex? Did someone shame you? Yeah, they were horrible. They were like, oh, I think lots of you, especially Rosie, are pregnant. It's what? like, what? especially what is, Rosie? Yeah. Was, yeah. And I was like, what? do you not deserve to have sex? No, if you're I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not allowed. Sorry, I have to be a nun. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Sexy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when I tried to be problematic on purpose in 2019? And then 2020 happened and I was just problematic, not on purpose. Yeah. Just having an opinion is. Just you being here is annoying. Yeah. It's like we did a baby haul that people asked for. Oh, yeah. A baby haul. Oh, yeah. And someone's like, <laughs> What you cared about the environment? Are you even gonna buy any secondhand clothes? Our local charity shop was like, don't drop stuff off during COVID. You're risking everyone's health. How dare you buy your first child <laughs> no, clothes? You got the horrible message this morning. It was like, how dare you support Fletcher's music? I thought you were friends with Shannon! And then I got- Shannon I got... does all her videos. I know. I wish I could do her videos. Yeah, so. Are you still oh, here? Anyone? <gasps> I recently bought my first sex toy. A friend of mine, a very good friend, if I might add, sent us a link to a store with toys on sale. I always wanted an air pulse clitoral stimulator. Oh, that I did some very fast research on the brand and ordered it the same day. You should have used our code. Did we have a discount code? Fuck knows, I don't know. I had to tell my sister my friend ordered a package to our house because shipping wasn't available to his. Otherwise, she would have wanted to know what had just arrived. Anyways, I got it the following day and locked myself in the bathroom to use it. It was over overwhelmingly amazing. A couple of weeks later, I was watching this podcast with Emily Morse, who has a doctorate in human sexuality. She mentioned she's had approximately 30 orgasms while using a toy. In I, one go? Yep, yeah, mind blown. I set up the goal of 10 for myself and I did it. This is such a good lockdown goal. My goal was learn to cook. And I, still I still have my hair done it. Crazy. <laughs> Might have been 11 consecutive orgasms using my Bezo XOXO. Is, is that, this a spot? Is that, is that the name of it? <laughs> I had trouble walking and hearing for a bit afterwards. Hearing. It was totally worth it. Best money spent ever. Can I just say, my personal record Ten. is four and a half, maybe five. I'd say four, four and a half. How could they go for 10? So that's a good, if we go back into lockdown, well, there we are. Another another new goal. Screw my knitting. So me and my girlfriend spent £100 on this vibrator. We've been together for eight months and never used a sex toy before. First time we used it, I came and then let out the wettest fart and then shit myself on the new sheets we just put on. The bed was covered and then my mum discovered it in the wash the next day. To summarise, if you want an explosive orgasm, get the Womanizer vibrator. I mean, what I want to know is, was it, was it coincidence or was it definitely... The vibrator's fart. So there was poo. I don't. I don't Sometimes know. Sometimes we have to, to stop do. to fart, though. Wait, the person who's messaging me will really enjoy this. Oh my god, they will. Yeah, I don't think this is to do with the vibrator. I just think you had a wet fart that maybe you, um, you underestimated. You, 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 you trusted and you shouldn't have. Yeah, you know what I mean. Never you do underestimated. That, especially in sex, because that's what I did on Valentine's Day. And, you know, we've never forgot the chunklets on the carpet. Can you stop? Because I. No, you were fine. You I picked see. them up. 
You pick them up. Pieces of full chutney in it. <laughs> Hi Rosie, here's my confession. During lockdown, I was getting so bored of masturbating just using my hand. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get a vibrator. Nice. It arrived, not too big or anything, so I could sneak it into my house without my nan, who I live with, finding out and it had discreet packaging. One night, I didn't hide it and I was just so tired after, so I just put it on my pillow and fell asleep. The morning after, my nan runs into the room to tell me my great granddad, her dad has passed away and she finds me half asleep in my bed with a big obvious vibrator next to me. Mm. Easy to say that was the most awkward breakfast I've ever had. Oh, fuck me. I was in turmoil that my great granddad died. It wasn't sudden, we knew he was dying for six months, but I was also livid at myself for not hiding it and embarrassed that my nan saw what vibrator I used too. It was three long weeks of almost no eye contact until I spoke to my brother who said our nan found his magazines and caught him once. So I felt more relaxed about it. Yeah. Like, okay, fuck it. Why am I embarrassed, you know? Yeah. We're all good now, haha. We haven't spoke about it because I don't want to dive embarrassed embarrassment and join my granddad. There's a lot to unpack. Lot to unpack. There's a lot to unpack. Okay, I so first of all, I would have actually died in that moment. What's worse than humiliation? Nothing. Humiliation and grief. Oh, like, shit. all the worst That's emotions. a lot, I'm isn't it? That is a lot. It's like, you, you want to grieve, but you're too busy grieving the old yeah. life you used to have before the embarrassment and yeah. shame. Do you think it's worse in that situation for the gran or the girl? Mm. Both. Who's just lost her dad. Oh, yeah, Maybe. shit. Yes. And now she's like, I bet she was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she didn't even... No, I'm, I mean, it was right on the pillow. It was on the pillow. She saw, but she was like, no, oh, honey. <laughs> oh. Lost your great granddad. Okay, 22 years old, food poisoning and sex. What could go wrong is Nothing the title. Nothing could go wrong. Pivotal point of the story, I ate a dodgy sausage at a barbecue and got food poisoning. I convinced myself that I didn't have food poisoning as my girlfriend at the time was coming back from holiday the following day and I wanted to see her. I had to embark on an hour train journey to get to the airport, trying not to shit myself, with a brief interlude at an empty toilet in a connection. I met with her parents at the airport where we had to wait for 20 minutes as her plane got delayed and neither of them spoke so we just all sat there in silence as I'm trying to keep my bowels still. Ugh. She finally arrives and we go back to hers in her parents car which is a good 40 minutes drive on top. Shit. We then decide to meet up with her friends and go to the pub, order food and get some drinks no. which I really thought I could hack but no, I just couldn't. you couldn't hack it. I shat four times just at this pub. This was the first time I'd ever met her friends also and I was just sitting there pale trying not to shit oh, myself. That's horrible. She noticed that I hadn't eaten or drunk anything so asked if I was okay and I lied and said I was. We then went back to hers, but it's a single bed. So she's laid on top of me and I'm using all my strength to keep my asshole clenched shut. We proceed to have sex after sending the dog How? out. <laughs> How on earth could you have sex? Which I don't remember any of it because all my energy was on not shitting myself. It finishes, we go to sleep. When I wake up, I think I'm safe. Oh. I absolutely was not. I shat myself in the bed after a dodgy fart, running in a panic to the bathroom naked in her parents' house with the dog watching me the whole time. I re-enter the room, pretending that nothing happened. My dignity shot to pieces. You may be thinking, did my girlfriend smell it? No, which was my saving grace because she has no sense of smell. I wake up for the second time. She looks down at the white sheet and asks what the stain is. I swiftly reply, oh, it's your fake tan. And I never told her the truth. The gall of this person to outright deny that, <laughs> that, 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 that she's having food poisoning. I just love it. Just like, no, I will live my life. Right. I will go to the pub. I will have sex. I'll meet I will friends. meet your friends and the girlfriend's parents. I'll outright shit myself. And I will and shit your, your fake tan. It's your fault. It reminds me of that TikTok that everyone can relate to that's like, you know when you're on your period and you're still on your period, but you're like, nah. Finished. I've just decided that I'm not. And I've you decided I'm not. Pants, and yeah, and you're just and you're like me every month. Yeah, literally. every I'm like, month. No, I I'm won't like, do I'm it done. anymore. I will not do it anymore. I'm like, no, I won't do it anymore. No. It was locked down in my tiny village. It was well into April, and I've been isolated enough to find myself unfulfilled and horny. I take no pride in breaking social distancing procedure but I connected with a girl from Tinder. Lots of people have been connecting with people on Tinder. So I thought, fuck it, and decided to hook up. My parents have been very strict regarding the rules and there was no way they'd let a random girl come round. So we decided to meet up in the woods by my house. Oh my God. Everything was going great. We made out for a while before she got down on her knees and got to work. It would have been the most euphoric, exhilarating experience of my life if all of a sudden a gentle rustling in the overgrowth brought me back to my sobering reality. I opened my eyes and there he was, a border terrier, curious and eager to know what was going. Aww. Knowing the owner couldn't be far away, I told the girl to stop, get out from under my skirt and stand up. We looked around and horrified saw an elderly woman through the trees looking in the opposite direction. I pray to this day she didn't see what happened. She saw. But something about her determined focus on literally nothing, 180 she degrees saw. away, <laughs> tells me she knew everything and looked away out of sheer awkwardness. She saw. The girl and I never finished and I have not seen her to this day. 
Why am I applauding? This is a horrible story. You broke the rules and <laughs> someone blatantly saw you. I don't condone breaking any lockdown rules. No. But the this positive, is less confessed. Though. This is less confessed. But the positive of this story is you made a dog friend, and that's literally the only positive mm. of this I'm story. I'm not condoning it either, but it's all I think happened. you are condoning it. Problematic. What a story to end on. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for um, blessing us with your story. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll do another one of these really soon. It sounds like you've got a lot of stories to tell. I'm yeah. interested. What I'm have you guys been up to? What have you been up to, you guys? Make sure you take care of yourself. And Try not to break the lockdown rules, guys. I know you're horny, but just order something to your house and make sure to hide afterwards and try not to get food poisoning.